hello everyone and thanks for joining so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the azure data engineering resume part so many people were having a doubt about the resume and they were asking me to provide any kind of the resume or any sample resume so what i have done i have prepared one sample resume and i will provide you what kind of the skill which you have to write in resume and how actually you have to modify in your resume based on your skill set everything we are going to discuss in this particular video okay before starting if you are new in this channel please do like please do support and we are already covered the azure data engineering full courses in our one of the playlists if you can see we have uploaded around the 50 videos here and also we are covering all the azure data engineering related project and the interview questions okay if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and please do like so that the more videos like this we will try to post it okay and let us start with that before coming to the resume part first let us try to understand what kind of the skill which generally companies looking for the azure data engineer okay if i show you show you one of the job requirement on with on this job requirement what actually they are looking for is like they are looking for the sql they are looking for the data bricks they are looking for the spark pi spark they are looking for the azure adls adf data bricks sql server postgresql okay this kind of the skill which they are looking for okay so make sure you should have we already covered this all the skills if you haven't watched those video please do watch that and whenever you will prepare a resume after learning you can mention that if you have already worked on that okay a, and if you'll see another job requirement in the job requirement you can see like what kind of the skill which they are looking for they are looking for here this like the sql they are looking for the etl knowledge and they are looking for the transformation they are looking for the rt sql they are looking for the azure data factory synapse knowledge sql data warehousing azure data lake azure blob storage and all this kind of the skill which they are looking for okay now if i'll show you another skill here also they are asking about the adls that is nothing but azure data lake storage they are asking about the data factory they are asking about the azure hd inside they are asking about the data factory azure data lake azure sql data warehouse spark python powershell ci cd this kind of the skill which they are looking for okay so generally if you will see in the industry right mostly most of the requirement if you will see right what kind of kind of the common skills which they look for is like they look for the sql you should have a good knowledge about the sql you should know about the data pipeline development you should know about the uh, azure data factory how actually you can build the etl pipelines and all you should know about the data bricks how actually you can process so for that you should know about the pi spark or the spark sql okay you should know about the data modeling you should know about the uh, azure data lake storage and all okay so what i have done i have created one sample resume and this sample resume i will provide it to you and based on your skill set you can modify this okay because so many people were having a doubt okay so i just provided the sample resume okay and you have to add it based on your skill set and there can be uh, so many resume samples so you can choose any one of them okay i will just provide this to you okay so in this uh, sample right uh, in this format first you have to mention your name you have to mention about your the email linkedin and your number that is the mandatory if you are using any kind of the resume sample you can you have to mention this all the three you have to mention about your name email linkedin and the number okay after that we you have to start with the experience summary in the experience summary you have to highlight every skill which you have worked on okay for taking example here i have worked on the uh, i have mentioned about the azure data engineer i have mentioned about how many years of the experience i have also mentioned about the uh, data storage i have mentioned about the data lake storage i have mentioned about the blob storage i have mentioned about the cosmos db i have mentioned about the data pipeline azure data factory i have mentioned about the pi spark spark sql spark streaming i have also mentioned about the migration I mentioned about the data transformation, data modeling. I mentioned about the uh, Power BI dashboard which we have created. Okay, so whatever the skill which you have worked on and which you have to highlight, you have to mention in the experience summary. Okay, based on your skill set. Okay, everything you have to mention based on your skill set, what kind of the knowledge you have and what you have already worked on. Okay, and on which you are comfortable with. 
okay you have to mention about your the years of experience you have to mention about all the skill set which you have worked on okay so that part will come into the experience summary okay after that so here you have to update it based on your skill set okay that is part is clear i think okay now after that you have to mention about the text technical expertise here all the kind of the tools which you have worked on and what kind of the knowledge you have related to the technical or everything you have to mention okay for taking example in the big data site right i mentioned about the hdfs file storage i mentioned about the high spark pi spark scoop etc so this all the things coming under the big data so i have highlighted in the that okay after that i am highlighting in the language so in the language i am mentioning about the python sql hyql scala cell scripting and all okay after that database pass okay sql server no sql azure sql and all okay from the cloud perspective what kind of the cloud knowledge you have like i have mentioned about the aws azure so you can also mention from that okay and after that i am mentioning about the etl tool and the visualization tool okay from the visualization side you can see uh, whatever the visualization knowledge you have you can mention that okay uh, if you can see for example if you have worked on the tableau power bi data breaks any kind of the visualization tool you can uh, mention that from the etl side there's your data factory synapse right where you have created a data pipeline how actually you have created a data pipeline that kind of the skills you have to mention here and the database size what kind of the database knowledge you have on which you have already worked so that kind of the things actually you have to mention here okay coming to the functional expertise you have to mention about your the functional knowledge you have to mention about the domain knowledge which you have already worked on okay so this kind of the skill set uh, you have to mention first one is the technical second is the functional okay so on which particular domain you have worked so that kind of the things actually you have to mention here okay and after that uh, it will come to the project part so in the project part first you have to mention about the your past experience on which you have worked on you have to mention about your company name you have mentioned about like from where actually you are working you have mentioned about your role what was your previous role and what was your responsibility okay in the responsibility everything you have to mention what actually you have worked on okay for taking example i have mentioned about the my i have worked on the blob storage i have mentioned about the data factory i have mentioned about the pi spark spark sql i have mentioned about the transformation part i have mentioned about the data processing part i have mentioned about the data bricks part i have mentioned about the migration part okay and i have mentioned about the multiple uh, data bricks notebooks and all okay so based on your experience whatever you have worked and whatever knowledge you have you have to mention this okay and after that you have to highlight about your education part and the achievement part okay so this all the kind of the things is the mandatory thing which you have to highlight okay i hope you like this video and if you are new in this channel please do like please do support and thanks thanks for watching